Hi, this is Fabio Varesano. I just arrived a, a board from one of our free IMU users, uh, which told me that uh, the board was uh, faulty, but it seems that the board is uh, actually working just uh, fine. So this is the board that uh, the, the user sent me. Is, this is exactly the same board that uh, that he sent me. You can see that uh, he already soldered the um, headers and everything. And uh, I just tested the board and uh, everything is uh, quite fine. So the board works uh, perfect, perfectly. So I decided to make uh, this little video showing you how to correctly connected board because I guess that this user made some mistake during the connection of the board so that it didn't work as expected so basically the board has to be connected this way I will explain you all the connections to the board so the board needs to be connected to the 5 volts power source of the Arduino which is uh, this one here so this is a 5 volt positive connection into the into the VIN pin of the board then we have the GND the GND pin which is connected to the GND pin on the Arduino then we have the the SDA connection the SDA connection which goes which goes into the SDA pin of the free IMU which is connected into the A4 pin analog pin on the Arduino Uno which is actually also the SDA, SDA connection for the Arduino Uno. Then we have the A5 connection, with, which is directly connected into the SGL line of the free IMU board. So this is very, very simple. Uh, the free IMU includes pull-up uh, resistors, to 3 volts and uh, auto and also includes a integrated voltage regulator so you don't really need anything else to connect a free IMU 0.4 version 3 to an Arduino Uno so this is uh, exactly the connection that you need in case you use uh, another kind of uh, Arduino uh, Arduino you are uh, the connection that you need are basically the same the only um, problem is is with the Ardu original Arduino Mega board because it has external non um, external pull up resistors to the 5 volt uh, power source so that you need um, a logic level converter to be to use the free IMU by the way uh, this is really all the connection that you need to use a free IMU board Okay, so now that uh, we have connected correctly the free IMU board to the um, Arduino, we can try the board. So here you can see that I have my Arduino Uno connected to the USB port and you the 
the easier way to uh, test a free IMU board is to simply uh, install the free IMU library which you can find on my personal website under the free IMU project uh, web page you have to install the uh, free IMU library following the instructions and then you can uh, simply uh, run one of the examples sketches available for example if I go under uh, file examples and then free IMU you can see that I can run I can open the free IMU raw sketch this is the basic um, the basic uh, uh, testing uh, program because uh, it allows you to see all the raw uh, data coming out from the sensor so basically what I do is uh, upload the the code to the Arduino which is now blinking so that I know I know that the code is being uploaded okay now the code has been uploaded and I can s open the serial monitor of the Arduino in the first instance the board is calibrating so every time the board uh, is reset you have to keep it as steady as possible because in the first instance the sensor bias are calibrated so you need to keep the board as steady as possible so as you can see these are the values the raw values coming out from uh, all the sensors of the free IMU and you can see that that these are all the values coming out from the board we have here on the uh, left here the, free, the first three values are the x, y and z axis of the accelerometer here the this user decided to mount the board upside down probably because he wanted to see the uh, pin marking the, p the pin serial screen here so we are uh, getting a negative vo um, reading on the z axis otherwise if the board would be mounted uh, on the right way we, we would, we would uh, get um, a positive value then the next three columns are the uh, x, y and z uh, axis of the gyroscope which is which basically are somewhere something near zero so if I when the, the readings are near near zero when the board is kept uh, steady but if I start uh, rotating the board you can see that we read a uh, uh, bigger values the next uh, three uh, columns here are the magnetometer readings and you can see that they are quite less uh, um, fast in updates because the magnetometer has a slower sampling rate than the other uh, two sensors so it is just a little bit uh, slower but you can see that all the free values are perfectly working the next two col the last two columns are the temperature output coming out from the MS5611 high resolution barometer and uh, this is the um, temperature and this is the um, pressure readings so it seems that to me that this board is working uh, quite uh, fine I'd say so I think that this uh, user probably simply didn't connect the board correctly okay so 
uh, another thing you can do to test your free IMU board is to open is to use a graphical uh, testing uh, program that I wrote in processing uh, a, a language uh, similar to the programming language of the Arduino which allows you to um, uh, create simple graphical uh, applications with very little coding. So what I have here are two um, inter uh, two programs. One is the Arduino IDE, which you probably already know, and this other one is the Processing IDE. As you can see, the Processing and the Arduino IDE are quite the same. Basically, the uh, Arduino guys just rip, ripped out the uh, processing ID, so that's why uh, the two are so similar. So basically, what uh, I will do is uh, using another, um, another program avail available in the FreeIMU Arduino library, which is called the FreeIMU Quaternion. So what I, I do is open the FreeIMU Quaternion example from the FreeIMU examples, FreeIMU library examples. So here it is. And that's this is the, the, the program. So I do have the, uh, the FreeIMU connected to the Arduino Uno to the USB uh, connection and uh, I can see and uh, to test the board I simply upload the code to, Ar to the Arduino which now blinks its LEDs so that I can see that uh, everything is working now that uh, I get here the done uploading I know that the board that the board has been programmed with the this new kind of uh, of code and uh, uh, something very important uh, thing that I didn't mention earlier in the previous example is that I need to set here the speed to the serial monitor to one. 115 and 200 uh, thousands bound so I need to set the fastest possible uh, uh, reading spin speed from the serial monitor so this is the output that uh, you should get from the free IMU quaternion program uh, running on the Arduino when a free IMU board is connected as you can see, this is uh, not a human readable uh, uh, syntax. This is, these are just uh, hexadecimal uh, numbers, which represents a quaternion, which is a, uh, a smart way to um, uh, represent a uh, three degrees of freedom uh, orientation. So these are the quaternion readings uh, coming out from my Arduino Uno connected to a free IMU board. So basically, this uh, program, this free IMU quaternion sketch, uh, reads all the sensors of the free IMU, fuses them together, and computes the free IMU quaternion output, which represents the orientation of the board. So. What I do now is closing the serial monitor. I always need to close the serial monitor if I want to uh, run the processing application because there can be only one application reading from the serial port. So since we uh, need to, to read from the serial port in the processing application, we need to uh, we need to um, close the serial monitor from the Arduino. So 
Now that I have my uh, free IMU Quaternion Arduino code uploaded on my board and that I tested its uh, Quaternion output, I can try the free IMU cube pro processing application which also can, comes with the free IMU library. So what I do, the first thing I have to do is to check for the for this line which is this one this final string serial port that TTI USB this line set up the serial uh, communication for the processing application so here I have what uh, we use on uh, Linux to um, connect to identify an Arduino board in Windows you will probably have to replace this with something like COM1, COM3, COM5 or something like that. Basically this is the thing that you will see here on the bottom of the Arduino IDE. So Arduino 1 on slash dev slash TTI USB 9 means that we are using an Arduino Uno board connected on this device here. On Windows you will probably have something different like COM9, COM3 or something like that. You will have to replace, you will have to put what you will see here on your computer into, the, into this. So be careful to keep the uh, quote mark marks here and that's it also Mac users will have to replace this line and probably also the uh, Linux user depending on the on the on how their uh, Arduino board show up on their computers so if you want to test the FreeMU cube program on your computer simply remember to change this uh, configuration parameter here with what you, you see on the left, on the right of your uh, Arduino IDE here. So what I do now is simply uh, start the processing application and uh, what you will see is something like this. This is the output of this uh, free IMU cube um, graphical example. Basically it's just a, a rotating cube which follows the movements of the board. And you can see that this board it seems to be working pretty good. So uh, in order to uh, see the uh, the rotation of the board as uh, as you move it you have to compensate for the misalign misalignment from your uh, screen to the earth north because uh, that's uh, the point of reference that the board uses to compute its uh, heating its uh, heating so that you have to point your X axis to the screen like this. I have my board pointed like that. I also uh, flip the board to compensate for the uh, rotation. Now I can simply uh, hit the button H here and that's it. My application is now uh, set up for, for following the... and you can see that the board follows the movements pretty good.
So this is what you should see when trying the free IMU in this little application. So if you see something like this, your board is working perfectly. So that's it. Uh, this, uh, this really seems to be a perfectly working free IMU. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos on Arduino, free IMU and everything. Thanks for watching and goodbye.